Hey friends, welcome to the part 24 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions on security speciality. I hope by now you are a subscriber as well as a member. And let us jump into the questions here. See, this is the question, which is very important. So always remember that this is the handle, the YouTube handle of this channel on YouTube. You can search a lot of shorts on this uh, handle. You can look for playlist so many playlists which helps you with clearing cloud certifications if now is not the time i'm not sure when will you prepare and clear your cloud certifications till when will you keep telling that cloud certification is all about aws cloud practitioner go to the intermediate level go to the advanced level gain respect in your organization aws cloud practitioner az900 these are very basic certifications. Nobody will give you respect for that certification. So for the first thing the question is asking is, I, they want to know, get email alerts. Now whenever I see email alerts, I always look for a service called AWS SNS. This is a pub sub service, which is used for sending push notifications, text messages, emails, and so on. Now option D is where I could not find SNS being used but I could find SNS topics being used in options A, B, and C, like A, B, and C. So I'll have to choose. So this is one of the simpler way to at least to weed out one option. We could take D out. Now, now we have to understand our other stuff. Okay. So the other thing is option C. Option C is making use of Athena. And quick side, so Athena, if you see this, you can fire queries on anything that is put on s3 and so on and quick site is a dashboarding tool you can create bi uh, programs bi dashboards and etc you can create that using quick site anything in the question is not talking about anything about you know um, uh, creating dashboards the question is not talking about anything about creating dashboards so c is a wrong use case here so c is a misfit now option b option b is talking about services like guardmaster sorry guard duty it is just like your security guard intelligent threat detection security guard for example just looking at a person he or she can come to know that okay this guy looks suspicious he's behaving in a suspicious manner this guy can be a thief okay but this is wrong because this is not i have a better option here than uh, guard duty what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to improve my security posture that means it should tell me what best practices are still to be maintained so a will help you because what a will do is it will use trusted advisor this guy is just like a accountant or or a consultant who will end and tell you that okay these are your best practices that you should adhere to and you're not adhering to okay so if i have a choice over a consultant who top consultant who gives me end-to-end -end visibility of uh, what what are the exposures in my suppose i have a uh, office complex and uh, a consultant, a security consultant comes and tells me, okay, point A, you have the gate is a, a bit, uh, you know, porous and uh, the security checks are not great here. Uh, point B, you people can come to the first floor and then a check happens, which is a threat. And compared to that, if you have someone like a guard duty means someone like a security guard there and he says, hey, you know what, I have intelligent threat detection capabilities looking at a person, I can say this guy is suspicious or not. Which one will you choose? Obviously, man, you have to safeguard all your posts, all your points in your campus. So you would choose A over B. That is why A would be my answer in this case. And it, it integrates very well because Lambda integrates very well with SNS topic and SNS is used to send daily email alert reports. Now let us jump to the next question here. See what this question is telling is, you have an EC2 instance, okay? And you have an auto-scaling group. Just from one instance, a lot of rejects are happening. So there is a suspicion that something on this EC2 instance may have been compromised. So the first thing what you should do, the first thing what you should do, the first thing you should do is just take this EC2 instance out. Just take it out, man. So uh, A, A does the same, remove the instance, remove the instance, remove the instance, but D, you know what? D is not removing it. D is telling, okay, let's take a snapshot of the suspicious EC2 instance. What will you do with the snapshot, man? This guy will be still there and will screw up your entire system. If a bullet hits somebody's fingers and the fingers are not getting fixed, what you do is you first isolate that, you cut that finger off. Okay, that's the first thing you have to do. You take that finger out of the system. Why? Because that guy will infect 
so many other places so often d is wrong okay so this way at least we could easily identify one option at least which is wrong in this case what happens is once we take that system out we all we will have to then perform some forensic like who accessed what happened and so on so there will be uh, an access taken from other forensic system okay so which option talks about forensics a is talking about forensics b is talking about forensic but d is not talking about forensic d is talking about inspector agent what is inspector agent it helps you automating the vulnerability management at scale okay it immediately discovers and scans the workload boss a hack has already happened now okay what are you doing when you were on duty you didn't do your job now let the forensic the murder happened let the forensics come in so the c would be wrong in this case because c would have been a proactive solution these guys didn't work didn't do their job and a murder happened so now we have to investigate what is wrong so we have to take the dead body that is the ec2 instance compromise ec2 instance and run forensics on top of it now out of a and b both are trying to run forensics which one is correct which one is correct the a is correct because what a is doing trying to do is once the instance has been taken out from the auto scaling group it closes the security group it allows ingress ingress means access in inwards access from only a single ip so that means there is there will be a single forensic box for only from this it will allow this access to perform analysis and which looks correct now option b what option b does is it, it will remove it that is perfectly fine but it is then going to change the acl rules to allow traffic only from this forensic ip to perform analysis and it will add a rule to deny all other traffic so uh, we, we we if we do it through acls that is how we have to do it so we have to do it using security groups that is good enough for us and a is using security groups b is using acl the acl primary why do we use is to manage access to buckets and objects what are these buckets and objects these are something in aws s3 okay so this would be my final answer we will lock this and move forward I hope you liked this part and understood the concept. How did we weed out the wrong options? Stay tuned. This brings us to the end of part 24. Uh, by now, you must already be a subscriber and a member. We will keep posting many more such informative content.